Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. If you are running an online business, there is a pretty good chance that you will be trying to get people onto your email list, whether it is a newsletter or if you have a freebie where you're giving someone something in exchange for their email address, no doubt you will have a site with multiple places where you will be asking for an email address. And often if it is the same thing, if you have one newsletter or one freebie and you're trying to drive everyone to sign up for that one thing, you will use one form. But what if there was a way where you could track exactly where people sign up in Kajabi with one little quick step? Now, if you want to track where people come from, if you want to know how many people are signing up, whether it is for the actual area on your page where you have the name and address fields versus your banner or your pop-up or on your blog or on any other pages, perhaps you are running ads uh, to particular landing pages and you want to be able to differentiate. Well, there is an easy way to do it. Well, not super, super easy, but it's not going to take a whole lot of effort. What I would suggest you do is you duplicate your form for each different place on your website or on your landing pages that you have an opt-in for your newsletter, for your freebie or whatever it is. And then you can have some slightly different behavior depending on that particular form. So you will be able to track where people came from and then potentially do some reporting down the track that can help you work out which is the most effective strategy and which is the most effective audience and the best places on your site to place on opt-ins to get the most traction. So what I've done here is I've set up a few different forms. Now these are essentially all exactly the same form, whether it is from the homepage or the blog or anywhere else, there is the same actions going to take place. I am going to subscribe them to an email sequence. I am going to subscribe them um, to give them a tag for the newsletter. However, for each individual form, I'm also going to add an additional tag. Now, technically you don't have to add a tag. You could track people and you could create segments just based on the fact that they have completed this form. But sometimes I find it really, really easy when you go into someone's contact record, because as soon as you go into that, you can see straight away which tag they have. So you can really quickly and easily get an idea of how they came into your world rather than having to dig into the details. And for what we're doing today, we're trying to make things really nice and simple. So everything else can be the same. The form fields can be the same. You can set it up to be double or single opt-in. However, your preference, send yourself a notification, everything that you want. The only thing that you'll do different is when you're actually building your page for the section on your page, you will pick the appropriate form that you have set up, even though they're all for the same thing. So for this uh, KQT, i.e. Kajabi Quick Tips newsletter, um, we've got this pop-up here. Now this pop-up is attached to the form. We're actually going to have to go into the uh, into the pop-up to be able to edit that. So this is our two-step opt-in. So if we edit that, we go into the form, we will see that this is for the home page banner. So we've got the form. So instead of just having one Kajabi quick tips form, we have one specifically for the homepage banner. Everything else is the same. I haven't set up a thank you page, but I would, this is just my test account. And I would also send everyone to the same thank you page. There's no reason to recreate seven different thank you pages. We just want the different forms because when someone fills out this form compared to if they fill out a form on the page, well, it is going to tag them slightly differently, which is what you want. So I'm just going to come back to our, our text section where we have the form. So this form here is set up to a different one. This one is set up to the form for the home page. So once again, someone will then be tagged with the home page. Now you can make this whatever you want. I've just made up a few different forms. So some options that I have got here um, that I would be doing is the home page itself, just for the form that's sitting on the page. Um, if you have other main pages that get a lot of traffic, then you could put one on those page. If you have affiliates that you are getting them to actually share your freebies, webinar signups, things like that, I would make a specific specific landing page for them, even if it looks identical to the other landing pages and put a form just for them on that page. Same if you were doing any kind of paid traffic. So we've got Facebook ads and Pinterest ads there. So if you're doing Facebook and Pinterest, then you'll be able to see easily and quickly without having to dive into Google Analytics and go, eh, I can't read it and understand it. You'll be able to quickly see where they're from. Same with blog post opt-in. We've got the homepage banner. We've got rest of the site. So this would be anything 
unspecific because there may be other places um, throughout your site where you are putting that opt-in um, blog page pop-up as well. So you can make as many forms as you want. It's pretty easy. Thankfully, it does not take long to whip up a few different forms and there's not a lot of settings and the email sequence, thank you page, it's all going to be the same for every form. So you will be able to track your signups and then do some research down the track to figure out which of those are the most effective and which are more, most likely to lead you to more sales. Sue here, I am signing out, but if you would like more Kajabi help, please do subscribe to the channel. I love it when people subscribe or get on the quick tips list at theunicornadvisory.com slash quick tips. You might be able to find the uh, link in the description below as well. And you will get a dose of Kajabi inspo just like this in your inbox every weekday. See you next time.